It's like someone is showing you like a certain side of them that they think is attractive, but it's coming across as very egotistical. So they're pretending not to care, but really they do. Hi Virgo, I'm here to do your reading for the month of March. And I am back. Sorry, I took a little break there. Let's get into your reading. So you do have the chariot here and the eight of pentacles. You are going to be making a lot of money this month. You're going to be making some major strides in your workplace, your career. And I feel like this is really intimidating certain people around you, particularly in your family. There's someone here that is wanting to ride on your coattails. Some of you are in college or you're getting a raise or a promotion. It's like you're speeding off into success here. This is on the heels of being very disappointed by someone who was really manipulative with you. You have the magician, the five of cups, but do not be fooled by this person's player tendencies. The fact that they manipulated you because they were coming from a place of insecurity and they're going to be kicking themselves for that because they're realizing how successful you're going to become. And you're closing certain doors here. Like you're closing doors on people's faces and you're in a power move right now. You do have people that are trying to fight for your position but you have wealth on top of you. There's a certain level of universal karmic debts being paid to you in the form of monetary value. You're coming into money, whether you're making it for yourself or it's just being laid upon your lap. And this is going to piss a lot of people off, including this person here, the magician who was very manipulative. So it's going to be kind of difficult for you to not get sucked into this person's trap if you're still holding on to that emotionally. Because you have the death card reversed here. So there was something that was very difficult for you to actually release from. And someone wanted to resurrect something with you because this is someone that does not want to let you go. And they have a lot of shady business around them. For some of you, this person actually was dealing with drugs or was like involved in that lifestyle because they have the moon on top of this. You just couldn't really understand where this person was at half the time or what they were feeling. They were clouded in mystery. And you also have the devil here and the eight of swords reversed. So it's like you're releasing yourself from someone or something that you felt was holding you back, was very toxic to you. And for some of you, this can be you where you're actually releasing yourself from a toxic substance that was holding you back. And you have the chariot here also. So you have the chariot twice. So you're moving forward. You're leaving this behind you. So you're making actually really great strides this month and getting yourself to a more successful position. You're definitely leaving someone behind though because you have the eight of cups here. So emotionally, you're moving on from this disappointment here. And this is someone that was constantly trying to fight with you. This is someone that always was trying to compete with you in some way. I'm seeing Cancerian. I'm also seeing fire signs for the majority of you. I'm also seeing Capricorn, Scorpio. But here's the beautiful thing about your reading. You have the star in your energy and you have the nine of cups in your energy. This is beautiful. This is something that you've been wishing on. This is something that you're manifesting for yourself that you have been praying about. So you're absolutely going to get a wish fulfillment this month. You're going to get something that comes true for you. And Virgo, your mind is powerful. You have one of the most powerful minds in the Zodiac. So whatever you're putting your mind to, that's what's going to get you out of this. That's what's going to save you this month. And emotionally, it's going to be fulfilling to you because spirit has your back with this, this goal here. And it's going to create a whole new life for you or a whole new situation. I feel like there's a connection coming in here. I'm getting the sign Aries and Cancer, water, fire, but you have the fool on top of the nine of cups. That's making you really happy. It's emotionally fulfilling to you. It's something that's like sparking your interest creatively as well. You're starting over in your life because you also have the ace of wands here very very creative this is after you actually let someone else go though or after you severed ties here and you just kind of sped off with the chariot twice right so there was someone who was in incredibly manipulative here with the magician i do not like this energy 
Every time you dealt with this person, it was one disappointment after another, after another. And I feel like you gave this person chance after chance after chance. And now it's coming to a close with the world. Because what's important to you now is your coin. And you're realizing someone here could not give that to you. Towards the end of March, you're still licking your wounds when it comes to someone who, again, was deceptive, seven of swords, but you're starting something else here. Ace of wands, knight of wands, five of cups. So you have five of cups twice also. So there is regret here. There is emotional pain. There was someone who was very flippant about you, like they didn't give you enough substance. But I honestly feel like, Virgo, you're laughing to the bank because you have this star here nine of cups it's like whatever this person did to you they can't even match your level of success right now so whatever strife they caused you with the five of wands to get you to feel less than less than them didn't work it's not going to work because you're going to see through this person if you haven't already and for some of you this is going to be more in terms of a familial or a co-worker situation that's trying to kind of steal your shine especially towards the end of march I feel like you're sitting on a really good idea where it can make you a lot of money and you're trying to keep that hush hush and that would be a really good idea because there are people around you that do not want to see you make bank. They're fighting for whatever ideas, whatever attention you have and they're not on your team. And you're dealing with someone romantically that has a lot of pride and ego. And I feel like you can sense this about them. You have a lot of changes coming in your life. And these are cyclical changes that have to happen with the world here. The full moon's here. Yeah, someone does not want to see you become successful. But you are going to become successful regardless. It's like this person's getting in your way. It's like they're holding back communication or information. You're going to pull yourself out of any kind of debt or any kind of lack mentality here with the five of coins reversed. Yeah. I also feel like there's someone that is emotionally unstable. There you are, Virgo, the hermit. That's your major arcana. Yeah, you're rising above them. See, seven of wands. And you're fighting for what's rightfully yours because you have the strength to do that. You might be dealing with a, a fire sign, Leo. Yeah, and there's someone here that is really jealous of your success and you're feeling impatient on some level, but this is coming to you quite quickly because you have the chariot twice. So just keep on the route that you're on because this is going to pay off. And there is a knight of wands here that kept you in a state of despair or regret and it's almost like they're coming around trying to sniff out if they can still get in your good graces. So be aware of this person, especially towards the end of March, because you also have I can't stop loving you. So this is someone's residual energy who can't stop thinking about you because they miss you a lot. And it's no wonder because you are twin flames. So you definitely mirror each other. Yeah, and this person has unfinished conversations with you. It's like they want to say something to you, but they're not coming to you in the right way because of their pride and ego. Okay, Virgo, we're going to take a look at this deeper. We're going to look into your romance spread off to the side here, and it feels really good to be back. So I will talk to you very soon, Virgo. Love you so much. Bye-bye.